the Joe Rogan experience. The reason why I ask, have you ever seen uh, images of uh, indigenous people in the Amazon that walk around barefoot and their feet literally start to look like hands? They splay out in a very bizarre way. Uh, I haven't seen those particular pictures, but I do know that people that walk around unshod, you know, so in other words, without shoes, tend yeah. to develop these toes that are more divergent, not not opposable like you right. know, a, a, a primate, but for whatever reason about being a, a, a unshod, it just gives you, you know, you look at the, the toe and it's like, it's, it's like visibly separated. Yes. We're looking at from, a from, picture of it right now on the screen. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. uh, very strange where it's, it's almost like they're gripping the ground with their toes and the, the toes are very thick and strong because they're, they're constantly walking around barefoot and they, they use their toes and the toe muscles in a way that we don't use them anymore because we're essentially we're in casts with our shoes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you know what's really interesting about I me mean, when you look at like modern adaptation, adaptations of modern humans, you know, in all these different pockets of the world or, you know, particularly when you look into all these ancient species, which are even weirder, is you realize there's, there's nothing about our form that's like an end destination. There's nothing about our form that is like we you know we have arrived that this was you know where primates were going the whole time. It, it, it's um, uh, you know if, if you want to talk about who are the weird ones, it's it's not all these other things. It's like the modern humans are weird. We got these big heads. We got this funny way of walking. We're right. bald, you know, and we vary and, so and, much. Yeah, and yeah. We, we 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 vary, and and then um, you know there's there's all these kind of myths about why. I mean, God, there's so many myths in the field of, of human origins. But one of them is you've probably heard about like uh, the divine proportions or like golden ratio that humans were constructed, you know, <clears throat> according to the, you know, these ratios and of the, like the so-called golden ratio. I mean, it's just, this is just storytelling. You know, I mean, there's nothing about our proportions. Our proportions are just a function of adaptation. They're a function of of evolutionary biology. And, you know, when certain chemicals are released in the developmental process that governs how long your limbs grow or your digits or whatever. Um, but there's, yeah, the, you know, we are just all variations of primate. Mm, you know? Yeah. You know, we're, we're just, we're just one of them. And so, um, yeah. So, so sometimes you see, uh, literature or people positing that, you know, somehow, there was something like an end. We're, we've reached some sort of end state, or and I'll I'll tell you, we're not reaching end state. We're just a variation of, you know, creatures that have that adapt. You know, well, they take just, these common elements and adapt them. You know, for different, for, for you know, for different uses. Well, and uh, modern humans, uh, though, we do vary size wise much more than uh, ancient apes that we find, though. Correct? Like we don't find, like for instance, like. We, you know, Mountain from the Game of Thrones, that enormous giant human being. That's a human being. Uh, I, I don't. I, I should confess, I'm I am uh, um, uh, sort of illiterate when it comes to uh, pop culture. Oh, okay. My kids, well, my kids would know. I, I I need to turn to them. You know, I'm kind of like he's literally <laughs> one of the world's strongest men. He's like seven feet okay. plus tall, three hundred plus pounds, enormous. But my point was that like that he exists as a human being also Chris Rock is a human being and he's a very thin, very small man. Like, but they're yeah. both human beings. We don't find that when you're looking at things like Neanderthal or where you're looking at, you find much more uniformity. Is that correct? Well, no, not necessarily. Actually, actually in some cases there's, there's a lot of variation. And I'll, I'll give you one good example. So Lucy, you know, there's this right. famous fossil. Lucy was, the species is called Australopithecus afarensis, named afarensis after the Afar, you know, this part of the world where, that I was describing, the Afar Depression. Um, she was discovered in 1974. She's very petite, uh, probably a female. Uh, and I forget how tall she is, but it's like th three foot something. And Artie, Artie's a female too, correct? Artie, Artie's a female. Ar Artie's taller. Ar Artie's, uh, you know, a, a head taller than, than Lucy. But anyway, so with Lucy... You know, when her skeleton was found, you know, this was, um, uh, you know, the only skeleton of that species. They had a lot of other pieces of things, but no skeletons. But there, there was this assumption that that species was small, and uh, <clears throat> or at least the, the female. And now, 
uh, thanks to some other work that's done in Ethiopia at a place called Oranzamile. Um, a few years ago, a team announced discovery of another skeleton of Lucy species. It's a male. It's a lot bigger than Lucy. They call it Katanumu, which is a uh, Afar word for big guy. Uh, but it's the same species as, as Lucy. But it's it's a big guy, you know, substantially taller. So it sort of falsifies this idea that all Lucy's mm. species was was petite. So interesting. And, and why is that? Is that because it's a, there's a so-called sexual dimorphism of males are bigger than females, or is it just a different population, or is that just you know just a difference in in uh, you know the normal range within a population? You know, like you have short people and tall people. You know, in our you know in any population, I, I don't know. But what they're the answer both is to mature that. specimens. But yeah, they, yeah, and they are both attributed to the same species. So anyway, just just to give you an example of a uh, a paleo species where there is actually a substantial variation. How much difference I mean, that, is it between Lucy and this other one? Uh, it's I don't know. Actually, I, w- I wish I had looked this up before we talked because I I'd love to give you a number. But it it the big guy is substantially taller mm. and bigger than Lucy. But but the skeletons. Uh, they they have, you know, the, the anatomy is similar enough so that they are attributed to the same mm. species. Interesting. And they're and they're of similar age. Like Katanumu, I think, is like three point six million years old, and and Lucy's, I think, three point two. Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right, they're free. From September 1st to December 1st, they're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye.